name is Brandy O'Donnell. Um, I was diagnosed November 3rd, 2017 with triple negative breast cancer. Um, I do not have the BRCA gene. I found a lump the end of July and I went to the doctors, had the mammogram and um, ultrasound and they said I had 13 cysts and they wanted to monitor it for three months. And within the three months, um, it got bigger and I couldn't even wear a bra because I had a lot of pain. Went to the doctor, they did a biopsy and they told me less than 24 hours later that it was cancer. It was so quick. So they told me it was uh, triple negative breast cancer, which is one of the worst ones to have and it's very um, aggressive. So it went very quick. Um, I started treatment right away. Within two weeks, I lost my hair from the chemo. Um, I had the harsh chemo for, I think, a month, and then I went to the next chemo, and only me. <laughs> After 10 weeks of that chemo, I developed an allergic reaction to it, and they had to take me off of it. But at that moment when they took me off, the tumor had sh it shrunk drastically, so they were good with it, and then May, 18th of 2018, I had a double mastectomy. Um, I had to wait a little bit um, for radiation. And then I had, um, I think it was 36 rounds of radiation. The worst surgery ever. <laughs> it was horrible. And I've had C-section, but it was the worst. Because you have the their drains and most people some some cancers you don't have to do radiation so I could have had the mastectomy and the reconstruction at the same time but because I had triple negative they did the radiation so I had to wait until I healed six months um, from the double double mastectomy um, I was all bandaged up wrapped uh, had drains I had if I believe I had four drains Gosh, it was just horrible. <laughs> I live alone. Um, my nephew, who is 20, came and stayed with me, so I had a little help from him, but I did mostly myself. I um, emptied the drains and did everything. It took about two weeks for the first drains to get taken out, and then a month for the second drains. I would do it like mm, three times a day. I would drain them, and then you have to measure how much is in and write it down. And I didn't take pain medication, so, you know, it's very painful, <laughs> especially if you don't have something to help you feel better, you know? Unfortunately, when you go to a surgeon, when you have breast cancer, they show you these pictures of these women who have perfect boobs. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> um, but they don't tell you the real outcome and that's not how it is so devastated and very let down after the surgery um, mentally I'm a single mom so you want to be perfect especially being single who's gonna love you when you have like messed up <laughs> boobs so yeah mentally I'm still trying to get over this tremendously because surgeons should give you real women who have cancer they should do that instead of a perfect person who has a perfect body you need somebody that has real life issues you know I don't know if I'm using the right words <laughs> wish I had that when I was had my surgery <laughs> this is awesome and it's very light Disposable. Right? That's awesome. I wish every hospital had this. This makes it easier. You can hang the drains. I had them hooked on with safety pins. It was crazy. <laughs> I didn't even want to leave my house because I was felt very awkward with it, you know. Um, and the bra 
hearts are uncomfortable. This seems like it's nice material, like breathable, you know? I wish I had easy bra, definitely. It, awesome. I want to tell my surgeon about it. <laughs> I really do. 